rivers, a rich habitat, overflowing with life. This small stretch of the River Kennel in West Cornwall has become home to a unique little species, the UK's only aquatic songbird, the white-throated dipper. This small bird, weighing no more than a tennis ball, has carved out a niche in these shallow, fast-flowing waters. This female has called this stretch of the kennel home for years now and for good reason. The rich, highly oxygenated waters of the river mean that food is in abundance. Whilst a rushing river may not seem like the best hunting grounds for a small songbird, the dipper is well equipped. A set of strong toes and sharp claws help keep her footing against the flow an especially adapted membrane on her eyelids helps her see underwater. With these tools at hand, she will pick a spot in the river and she will dip and dip and dip. Searching the rocks for her favorite prey. But the best food is down on the river bed, just out of reach. Fortunately for our dipper, she is just as capable at swimming as she is at flying. She's after one of these, a caddisfly larva, a prized item in the diet of a dipper. This small, soft-bodied creature will eventually morph into a terrestrial fly, but until then, it will spend its days walking the riverbed, collecting rocks to fit its protective casing. With predators able to attack from every angle, one must do what they can to armour themselves. The dipper uses her short, muscular wings like flippers as she scours the riverbed in search of a juicy larva. Success. The bird will slap the larva against the surface of the water to break off its protective shell before swallowing it whole and heading back in for more. Time to clean up. After a swim, she'll use special oils produced by a gland in her tail to re-waterproof her feathers. Preening oils are essential for keeping the bird's feathers flexible and in good nick. After all, she has to keep in ship shape. With spring on the doorstep, love is in the air, and this dipper has a boyfriend. As the breeding season approaches, the female will signal to the male by rapidly flapping her wings that it's time to get busy. But before the fun begins, the male has some adult responsibilities to tend to. After all, you can't expect to have children without somewhere to live, and it's up to the male to do the house hunting. This looks like a nice spot. A rustic property on the picturesque river kennel. Perfect for a couple looking to start a family. But it's up to the female to make the decision. She has a look around. 
but is put off by something. The male will have to try again. Perhaps here. Not as much grandeur as the previous property, but a small price to pay for safety and privacy. The male waits in anticipation as the female has a look around. She seems to like it. Looks like this could be the one. But there's no time for housewarming parties in the life of a dipper. With the female busy caring for the eggs, the male must stand guard at all times. After all, dipper eggs would make easy pickings for this rook. Best go up, just to be safe. With spring progressing, we leave our dippers to the busy task of raising their chicks. Once they have left the nest, our birds will see each other only in passing. Until the same time next year, when they will work together to create the next generation to call this small stretch of river home. <laughs>